led by former Vice President Architect Mohammed Namadi Sambu, Sultan Muhammad Abakar Sahad the third, governors, academics, religious, women, and youth leaders, they stress that no nation that adopts violence as a mean to demand reform ever remain attractive and impressive. Former Vice President Namadi Sambu tax, especially Nigerian youth, to exercise restraint while they demand reforms to allege misdemeanors. Let me use the opportunity to appeal to the youth of this great country to exercise restraint while they demand for an end to allege public brutality. No doubt your voices were loud and bold, but you must be calm and remain low abiding while the federal government addresses your grievances with the urgency that it deserves. Responding to the destruction of public assets and public peace remains condemned in world history. Countries that choose violent process to achieve change have become unimpressive and unattractive. We must therefore remain civil while we advocate for reforms. Namadi applauded the visioners of Ariwa House that has remained one of the only centers in Nigeria that has succeeded in bringing people from diverse backgrounds together. His eminence, Sultan of Sokoto, Muhammad Abubakar Sahad III, stressed that the north of today isn't what Sahamad Bello said Sokoto labored for or and wanted to see or dreamt about, urging politicians to be leaders of all. The Sultan described the harsh answers protest and the consequent looting and killing as acts of wickedness by disgruntled hoodlums. But what happened in the last couple of weeks was mere wickedness by some disgruntled hoodlums. And I think it's important for us to say so loud and clear. And I want to thank, I want to thank the majority of our northern youth who did not take part in this plundering of our assets because it would have been the worst for it. And therefore we commend our northern youth and we ask them to do more to ask our governor to reach out to them more, include them in the administration of the various states or projects so that they also feel they belong and they will do much more for the north and for Nigeria. The Sultan called on the northern governors to reach out to the youth for inclusive governance in the interest of the people. Kedula State Governor Nasur Erufai said the invitation of his Ekiti State counterpart, Kayode Fayami, was no accident, and the days ahead will reveal the reason. Erufai called for the implementation of the All Progressive Congress APC True Federalism Report by the National Assembly Constitution Amendment Ad Hoc Committee to utilize its recommendation. The governor said he was disappointed that the report of that committee has not been implemented. I therefore call on our federal legislators and the National Assembly Ad Hoc Committee on Constitutional Review to take advantage of our report and initiate the constitutional and legislative amendments in either a piecemeal or comprehensive manner without further delay. Sokoto State Governor Amin Wazir Tabual tags Ariwa House to commission studies into the harsh NSAS protest and also youth development, employment, and entrepreneurship in northern Nigeria, which the northern governors, he said, will fund and implement. I would like to, on behalf of my colleagues, call on Ariwa House to commission a study on NSAS. And let us have a report on that. We are committed ensuring that we fund that, uh, that study and we want you to commission also a study on youth engagement and youth development in particular job creation and entrepreneurship in northern Nigeria. We are ready to fund that uh, research and we are going to by the grace of God implement whatever is the outcome of that research and our recommendation. Other speakers to the same line while calling on northerners to hold their heads high, be proud of their legacies while remaining nationalistic and maintain the northern age-long integrity. Ariwa House, Center for Historical Documentation and Research, the resident of Letsa Madibelu was founded in 1970 by Letsa Sunday Awani, Leti al Alhaja Adamu Fika, among others. Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kader, Liberty News.